could go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that. As soon as we can. You know, you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this. And I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So, come get me when you're ready to go. Alright? Why she got no socks on the phone? Got the grandma socks and shit. We were from Dragon Age to Disney Channel. Disney Channel, Dragon Age. Old studio, new studio. This alone tells you everything you need to know about this game. This tells you everything you need to know. Fucking Disney, Nickelodeon, Warriors. Warriors. Look at the muscles. Look at the muscles. This dude has no muscles, bro. This dude has no muscles, bro. This motherfucker look weak. Come on, bro. And Duncan. Duncan died for what? At this point, his death was irrelevant. Like, this whole franchise just died now. Like, it's crazy now. R.P. Duncan, man. Like, this shit is crazy, bro. That man fought for the blight just for the studio to turn into the blight. Well, let that go over your head. That's crazy. But this clip right here definitely tells everything you need to know, bro. Everything you need to know side, bro. In Kunadar, Krem would be an Akunathlak. That's what we call someone born one gender but living like another. Okay, Akunathlak is a girly man. Which is, there's no wrong being a girly man in real life. But when you force it to an already established storyline, it seems for it to seem like it just, it's unorganic. You know what I'm saying? And it's nothing wrong being a girly man. Tell me why it's a great game when the main character is transgender. This is a good game. This game is not ass. The story was pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Even Burleazy played it. If you subscribe to Burleazy, you probably watched him play it. And this is the same people that made Life is Strange. They didn't go into Life is Strange. Fucking brought back Arcadia Bay, made everybody trans. It wouldn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, when done correctly, you could make a good game, a good woke game. But it cannot be forced into an already established franchise. That's the problem. Yeah, I should have made a separate IP called Rook's Adventures. And Rook's Adventures about a trans dude in medieval times fighting shit. But y'all decided to go to an already established franchise. Y'all changed the art style. It went from badass, it went from Dragon Age art to Disney Channel art. This is Disney Channel. This is, like, bro. Like, bro, it looks exactly... Bro. It's the same art style. It may be a little different, but it's the same look. We just gonna click through a few pictures. Hey, bro, this is crazy, bro. And you know we have we have the Velgar ready to go. I'm gonna make a a medieval duel, an Inquisitor. Now keep in mind what he said again in the beginning. The uh, I don't know what the hey, fuck. Yeah, Kornada is a, is a lady boy, bro. Thailand style. So stick of Thailand. Let me go skip to when he talks about the Kornada again. And a Kornada, don't treat those people any different. Let's let's hear the Quizzer say it. And Kunari don't treat those Akun people any differently than a real man. I don't understand. Akun people, a Kornada, a Kun people. You could be a lady boy, but Kornago still treats you like a dude. So automatically, in Velgar, the non-binary, the trans people are supposed to not even like the Quinar because they don't respect whatever they're trying to be. So if that's not in the game, the game's already on them. The game's already 
like the storyline of writing is stupid. So that that scene alone, any trans person in the game should be beef with a canary or has some type of like weird vibes, you know what I'm saying? Tell me why, bro. Damn, get it? Tell me why, bro. Like, this is fucking crazy. This is what I think. People aren't truly mad at wokeness content. They're mad at the core essence of Dragon Age has been transmuted. Transmuted. Then you added woke content, fueling an already angry crowd. It's obviously going to hate the game. The art style has been changed to a Disney movie. Dialogue and choices seem to not be on the same level as the previous Dragon Age game. Then you add a woke content as the final blow. It's obviously going to come out of its force. It's, it's going to get backlash. We already talked about Tell Me Why. And like the the modern language don't even fit the timeline. Like, what the hell? Tell me why. Good woke game was a force. The story was great. It actually fit the timeline. I think it takes place in the 2010s. Not no fucking Knights of Templars timeline. Hey, and I play Force Woken. I'm just throwing out the motherfuckers that like your spoken. So I'm gonna give this game a chance. Hey, we gonna see what the Velgar is talking about, bro. Duncan died for this? Man, bro. This shit is crazy. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago, he had a different name. The Dreadwolf. Ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. Somebody's got to stop him. And that's where you come in. I'm just made the dude I made in the Inquisitor, bro. But the dude I had a ponytail and shit. No. Alright, yeah, I gotta make two characters. I, I don't get this shit. I really don't. Alright, yeah, so this is. Alright, I made two people. Like, I don't know what I did, but. Uh, it gave me an option to customize the Inquisitor, so I did that, and. Now I got two people. Nice. So this is Siegfried, Chevalier, but I want him to be a Grey Warden, and an Inquisitor. Oh, I'm still... Oh, bad. Okay. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathus, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And the missing contact. Let's try this again. Where's Navgallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Alright, I already 
came out bad Thomas, so you might as well be on us. Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I'm not leaving until I know where she is. Be ready to talk by the time I get to you. <laughs> Darling, you're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough gold in the world for this. Ferric, now! Meet Bianca. She'd like you to stay a while. <laughs> Nev Gallus. Dumat Plaza. The Venatory cultists took her to Dumat Plaza. Thanks. Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why you're my second in command. Although, for the record, there was probably an easier way to do that than fighting an entire bar. What did I have to worry about? You were there watching my back. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. I hope Nev's as good at finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. The Archon's Palace. Bro, it's still like a Disney game, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. On trust, I bless you. Oh, I gotta turn up the vibration, bro. I don't like that. Where may I go? A little brighter. Uh, the feel. So other option. I nah, would just keep it out of. Yeah, I don't want no this one. Uh, where is goddamn vibration? You tell me there's no vibration option? I don't know why video games add this shit, I'm not gonna lie. Still think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot. Like, if you have, like, almost zero on oh, me. Bruh. At the table, Nudie will be saying the game. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not trying to get mad. Eat that off. Um, hold on. I actually have to turn it back on, bro. Like, no, 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 that's what the fuck am I doing? Uh, where is 
the shit, man. Vibration. Bro, I just want to play. Yeah, we'll let that go. Especially if we... safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Fought some demons, and the Archon's palace took a few shots at us. Nothing we couldn't handle. Speak for yourself. Have you got my gear? Right over there. Where's Nev Gallus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Eyes up! We've got company! Okay. Here they come. I heard this, the gameplay is inspired by God of War, so I'll take that into consideration. This game, I'll say this, this game is very, like, pretty, like, saturated-wise. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills us all in the process. Okay, so you can find items throughout the world. Any purpose? Oh, yeah, this purpose breaking these pots and shit. Now we can't hunt there. Oh, I'm going to 
fuck her at? Okay, they want us to go there. I hope I'm getting rewarded for exploring though. I'm about to arrest them. They crossed the Great Wardens a few years back. Got a lot of our people killed. This game is really pretty, I ain't gonna lie. I like the saturation, bro. Guess we're sliding down. And the fire looks good, I am not gonna lie. I'll stay visually. Yeah, 10 out of 10, I actually really like it. I still don't like the art style, but I like the the color. Use RB to select the new drive kick ability. Nice, okay. Oh. Probably never gonna use that. Yeah, like and subscribe, man. Like and subscribe. Barrick, hiding. Not the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in this city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece? One of the strongest pieces on the board, but he tends to think in straight lines. Nice to meet you. Based on the Venatori, you've got excellent taste in enemies. I do my best. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go. Before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well... Whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. 
May the gods watch over us all. May the gods watch over us all. So if we do catch Solus, or the Dreadwolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He wants to bring down the veil. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual. Well, so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight-up fight, we're dead. Oh, sure, I got another weapon. Crouching, but I don't know what. We can slide down the board. I'm getting too old for this. There, that's the building I tracked Solas to. Looks like the Venatori also found it, and then demons found them. So ring pots was supposed to keep that in mind throughout the whole series. Don't you guys when the main character runs slow, the guy they use him like bro, can you run any faster than him? Shield toss? What are we, Captain America? I mean, that's kind of fire, though. Nope. Yeah, I gotta lie, I really, yeah, this game is super pretty, bro. If they would have kept the Inquisitor art style and then add the saturation like this, man, this game would have been a fire, though. And the water looks pretty, I don't know, this game is very pretty, I'm playing on Xbox. Right now, Series X. Enchantment on this looks good. I can get it. The fire looks good. This looks good, my people. We should head back. Solus is probably inside. Yeah, I wanna find loot. I'm about to stop trying to loot, bro. I don't see any bird. Dread wolves hide out. One of them at least. I'm not sure how long he's been here. Some of this looks ancient. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. Broken chains. Solus is freeing slaves. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. What do you see? No sign of Solus. Just a big glowing window or mirror or something. Well, that sounds ominous. Ancient elves doing something to a dragon, I think. Yeah, trying to control it, maybe? Solus said the elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. More demons. Or is it access to a powerful tool here? Attack Solus then the weapon and shield. Nice work. 
Let's see what's on the other side. like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. He must have gone through it. Oh, am I taller than her? Bruh, I should have made it to the taller, bro. I don't look like I had B.A. play it. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. Now we've got demons. And I thought the demons were bad back in Minrathis. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. Does it feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. about this game so far is the colors man xbox series xbox series x it looks good so pc it probably even look crazy bro you got a high-end pc all the colors and shit pride demon we have to stop this demon quickly i still send you back to hell oh shit what's up I'm here. Charging up, he's charging up. Free. Free, man. I play Elder Ring. Fuck. I am an Elder Lord. Oh. Okay. It don't look like it. I am an Elder Lord. You start respect me. Bro, 
Alright, what can do? Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. Everyone alright? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option, to help him justify changing his mind. We've got your back. If anyone can get through to him, you can. Thanks, Rook. Whatever else he is, he's my friend. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You are my friend. I don't know you there. I'm there. I'm for me. You are my dream. That would be crazy that a Naruto music right there. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Feel the wrath of an elder lord. It's off forever. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed. By drowning the world in demons? I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the. People are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. People are always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. I mean, she's a mage, so it makes more. Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Good luck. The story, the story, the story ass. This is the worst Dragon Age of all time, though. The story has to be good. Right now, we just tend to stop, Solomon. 
Why? Why tear down the veil, knowing all the lives it'll cost? We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling! We need to push it! Right! Together! Now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. You have no idea what you have done. Soulless? I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world! When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the fate. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight, corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. How am I supposed to trust anything you're saying? You saw them escape from my prison. I also saw you bringing down the veil. I had. 
had a plan. Eric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Eric. Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Farrick is... quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. How bad are we talking here? Their power outstripped my own even before they embraced the corruption of the Blight. But you did imprison them. Through trickery. I also had a ritual dagger of pure Lyrian, and a network of mirrors to take me from the lighthouse across the world. I don't have either of those. Well then, I expect you will be busy. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This is your responsibility now. So we gotta get daggers and mirror lighthouse. Okay. you have done. This is your responsibility now. Well, <clears throat> look who's still with us. Derek? You're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me, kid. I've had worse. And it take more than a flesh wound to stop me. <coughs> Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. What happened? I did my best to talk sense into Solus, but of course, he wasn't listening. He never does. The plan did go a little wrong. Yeah. Harding got everyone out. By the skin of her teeth, mostly. Before you start worrying, Nev will be fine. She's apparently a lot tougher than both of us put together. Or, at least, she's a lot tougher than me. You've got to get better. We need you leading the charge. You stop Solus from flooding the world with demons, Rook. Not me. Besides, I can't do much leading from bed. But something else escaped, Varric. Something... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a darkspawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole soulless mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Rook, look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. <clears throat> Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade, because that's what we needed, the dream world. Then I really need to look around. <sighs> Can't hurt, in theory, and we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me, I need to sleep. See you later, kid. Okay, I'm put that list on now. Yeah, drippy.
Yeah, like subscribe, man. Like subscribe. Rook, you're awake. And we're... In the fade. This is where people come when they dream, but dwarves don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. Nev thought we should talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little. We might be here a while. Multiple save files, man. are in the fate, but I swear they're following me. You all right? Strange place you've fallen into, but I'll work with it. You know me. Do I? I know Varric wanted you for the job. You know the same about me. I made a call that got you injured right after we met. I'll be fine. You trusted me for the job, and I delivered. That's what counts. If we're stuck in this, let's hope you can trust me again. Of course I do. We're a team. <laughs> Is this how fast you trust anyone? Should I be touched or worried? You take a lot of notes. What about? Lately, what we know, or knew, before Solus changed the game. And it's, uh... Not much. I'm sure Lace would hate to hear that, but one step at a time. We'll figure this out. I'm sure of it. Really? Do you know something I don't? No, we just... Well, we have to, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the job.
wasn't supposed to go this way. What do we do now? What do we do? Harding? Oh, hey, Rook. Uh, how's it going? Harding, are you doing all right? I don't know. Are you? Is anyone? Anyway, it doesn't matter how I'm doing. What are we gonna do about this mess? We were going to go back through the Alluvian, right? Let's start with that, as soon as we can. You know, you can take some time to just... Now you sound like Varric. Varric and I started this, and I can't stop. Not now. Don't ask me to. So, come get me when you're ready to go, all right? Why she got no socks on the phone? Got the grandma socks and shit. Oh, what's this way? So, we stopped the ritual. And Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solas. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solas is gone. And we're here. Wherever here is. Besides in the Fade. Solas called it the Lighthouse. He did? When? Sorry, it was while I was unconscious. Solus appeared in my dream. Really? I'm glad you're all right. From what I saw, he's trapped in the Fade now. Not here, but some kind of prison. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. He said our connection wasn't strong enough for him to do that. He could only reach me because I bled at the ritual site when I got banged up. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. I don't care about the philosophy. In terms of his power against ours, he's a god. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual, and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we are not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgrenon and Gilanane. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solus rebelled against. When I talked with Solus, he was scared of them. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elgrenon and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like that. We're down a man without Farrakh. We can't just rush in. 
I know you're hurt, Nev, but the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate, then figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? If Elgernon and Gilanane are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right, then. Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. There's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Nev, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Okay, independent, independent Indian black woman. Shall we? Let's do this. Miss Independent. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. But if the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find... It's me, Lise Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlathan? It's complicated. I can see that. Rook, Nev, this is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. They're veil jumpers, experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. It's not your fault. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's, sorry, Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. We did stop him. The sky's not pulling itself apart anymore, is it? But... But it didn't go as cleanly as we hoped. Solus got pulled into the Fade and two somethings got pulled out. Or someones, I mean. Two of the evil elven gods. Elgernon and Gilanane. Methalanast. The elven gods of old. The Evan Uris. If they truly have returned. Then things just got a whole lot worse.
Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led a rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Ah! Tarith is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of Veil Jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Bellara Luter. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifact it's setting off, it'll be her. Right, you get your friend back to your camp and... Uh, we'll find Ballara. Nev, I need you to stay with Strife and Irulan, all right? I'm fine. You're the best detective in Minrathis. You can help the Veil Jumpers here. If trouble shows up, they could use your skills. Fair enough. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. Is it me, or is there something strange about this fog? It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. Alright, my people, we're gonna stop right here, man. Don't forget to leave a light. Subscribe if you knew all that good stuff. Hey. I'm going to see y'all next part.